Hello everyone. Hope you're all doing great. Today I have a very large haul because this is going to be a catch-up haul. Um, this is going to be a few months worth of supplies. So let's get started. Uh, so this first haul is from Jackson's and this is a box full of more of the watercolors from a gallo so look at all of these gorgeous colors i just love that they come in the packaging they already have the color swatch so you guys can see right away if this is going to be a color for you first color that i chose is scarlet red it's going to be a nice nice warm red it's made from pr254 so that's scarlet red next is Piazza Rose, and this is made from PR233 and PV19 and PV16. And that is the most interesting thing about this brand is they do use multi-pigments. And I have not done very much mixing yet. I have painted with them, they are lovely, but I have not done enough mixing to tell you if they mix well yet. Next, I did get Potter's Pink because it's one of my very favorite colors. I think it's an excellent mixing and I need one in every brand that I every brand that I like, I tend to go back and get a Potter's Pink. And I'm kind of judging brands by their Potter's Pink and their Cobalt Turquoise. The Potter's Pink is made from PR233. Next is a gorgeous violet color. This is Mineral Violet. This is PV16. So really pretty. The next is Dioxazine Zine Violet, and this is made from PV37. Really pretty purple. Um, next is Ultramarine Blue Dark. And this is made from PV29. And I had a viewer say that their Ultramarine is really, really nice, so I wanted to try that. And then this is teal blue, and this is made from PB15 colon 3, PG7, and PW6. So yes, I broke my rule about buying pigments. I usually try not to buy pigments that have white in them, but I did. They this company, a Gallo, does not use cadmiums or cobalts, so they don't have a cobalt turquoise, which I really really needed. It's one of my favorite colors. So this is their answer to that, and so I'm going to try it, and hopefully, I, hopefully I'll hopefully i like it. And next is another kind of, uh, I thought it was going to be more turquoise. It is not. It is really just green, and by looking at it right now, I would say it has a PW6 in it. And, well, yes, it has PW4. And so this is copper blue, and this is PW4. PG7, PB15 colon 3, and PY3. So a lot of four different pigments in this one, but I will play with that and see how that mixes. And then next is, look at this beautiful green. This is sap green, and usually I'm not really a fan of sap green, but this is, this just looks gorgeous. It looks really earthy, and this is made from PY83. PG36, PV19, and PR101. Wow, again, four pigments. So that's going to be a nice convenience green. Next is one of my favorites of all of these colors. This is so pretty. This is such an interesting brown. This is, I'm not going to try to pronounce this. It's made from PR 101 and it looks absolutely gorgeous. It's one of my new favorites. It looks very much like a Caput Mortem and it's going to be an excellent mixing color. And then next, another really pretty, this is Hematite. This is made from PR 102 and this, look at that gorgeous brown. So pretty. And then lastly, for the Agallo paints, this is Burnt Umber Cypress. This is made from PBR8. And I don't remember seeing that pigment before, so that might be a unique pigment, but it's a really pretty neutral brown. It's a really pretty brown. Next, I have some markers here, and these are Albert Durer markers. I'm going to take these out of the box. I did go ahead and get some um, 
new markers because these were on sale at Jackson's. These are going to be so quick that I'm gonna go ahead and swatch them actually. First we have beige red. Looks like a really nice skin tone. Next is scarlet red. Nice warm red. Really pretty. Next is deep scarlet red. And this is a more cool tone red, much more cool red. It almost has some pink when it's washed out. And the scarlet red is more of a coral when it's washed out. So they're really pretty. They're all really pretty. And that's what made me go back and get more of these. Next is India red. Really pretty. Really pretty neutral. And it would be really good for skin tones. It goes really well with that, the beige red. Next is purple violet. They're very, very juicy. Oh, look at that. That's pretty. Next is cobalt turquoise. And this is a very blue turquoise. Really pretty. And then this is the cobalt green. And I actually prefer this one better, I think. So this one is my favorite and I didn't swatch that out very good, but I'm too excited. I didn't have enough water on my brush, so I didn't swatch that one out very good. But look at that one. Oh, so pretty. So I prefer the cobalt green. They would be very pretty mixed together. Lastly is earth green, which is a very earthy green. So there's those swatches. Next, I have some colors from Rembrandt and Dick Blick had had a sale and they were giving away a free uh, chameleon color with the purchase, I think, of a few of the, I don't remember the dollar amount, but I think $30 worth of Rembrandt watercolors. They gave you the chameleon color for free. So I couldn't wait to do that because I keep loving to try Rembrandt colors. So this is the one I got for free. Um, so some of these I already know are my favorites and I needed a tube version to share with an art friend and they were on sale so that's the perfect time to get the ones that I know are my favorite. So this is uh, Paraline Red and this is made from PR149. Quinacridone Violet which is made from PR202. Ultramarine Violet which is made from PV15. Cerulean Blue Greenish, which is made from PB36. Cobalt Turquoise Blue, which is made from PB28. And is, I love this color. I have this in half pan and it rivals my Schmincke half uh, Cobalt Turquoise at a fraction of the cost. So I definitely wanted to send my friend a sample of that. This is Viridian. This came in the large tube and I want to say it was about $8 and this is where I get trapped trying to compare because I've been told, I think Marty Owens on here on YouTube said that Rembrandt is one of the few companies that still uses the original Viridian made from PG-18 and so I really wanted to compare it because I believe this tube was about $8 whereas the Schmincke version that I love so much is about $18 for a 15 mil tube <laughs> and this is um, 20 mil. 
So I wanted to see, I wanted to compare them and see how different they are and how close they are. And so got this. And then lastly, this is the free, uh, this is the free paint that I got from ordering the other paints. This is Chameleon Gold Red Violet, and this is made from coated glass. And so this is, you can see I've already poured out a sample for my friend, but uh, I, I was so excited to share some of my favorites with her. So I will be swatching these in an upcoming video. And please let me know if you would like me to swatch these in a video quickly, or if you would like me to share a video of all my favorite Rembrandt paints. Next, I did get some colors from Holbein. And I, I've loved my Holbein palette, but as with all of the different brands, I find it's hard for me to know if I really love the paint until I try some of my favorite colors. So I got some new colors. This is Cobalt Turquoise. They come in the cutest little packages. Let's go ahead and open it. So this is Cobalt Turquoise. It's made from PB28. And what's great about the Holbein half pans, check to make sure you can't get it in two versions at Jackson's because it will save you quite a bit of money. But if I can get this, they come, they do come, um, I'm sure they cost more in half pan because they come already poured. This is how they come. I want to show you guys. Um, so sometimes it might be worth it. If you're a busy mom like me, sometimes it's worth it if they're on sale to pay a little more. But this is how the half pans come. They come with the name, the number, as well as the um, Holbein, little Holbein design. Let me see if that's going to, my camera will focus on their pan as well as the magnet. So it will fit right in if you have a palette of, I have the uh, pretty red palette. Uh, they already have the magnet and everything, so that's gonna be really convenient. So I also went ahead and got quinacridone magenta, and this is made from, oh, it doesn't say. I'll have to open this up. The Kunokuno Magenta is made from PR122. And then Shadow Green, which is made from P PBK31. So I'm pretty sure that's the same as a Paraline Green, which is always one of my favorite colors. And then from Jackson's, I was able to get um, Shell Pink, which is a very popular color. And... This is made from PO73 and PW6, so an orange and a white. Quinacridone Violet, which is made from PV19, and Payne's Gray, which is made from PBK, looks like. PBK6, PB15, and PR122. But I do notice that one of the YouTubers, uh, Maria something, she uses this color a lot. So that is a convenience mix, but uh, I wanted to try that. And then next, I got the 24 set of the Neo Pastels. So basically, Sandy, I think her name is Hester. Is it Sandy Hester um, here on YouTube? She shared these and she loved these. And so I really wanted to try them. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open them up. So I'm so excited. So these were super pricey, but luckily my kids gave me some gift cards for Mother's Day. And so, yay, I got some uh, Neo Pastels from Karen Dosh. Karen, everything I've tried from Karen Dosh is just it's just amazing. So I expect these to be no less, but let's open these up. Oh, look at all of these pretty colors. So pretty. So they have 96. So you don't know how hard it was for me to only get, to not get all of them. But I'm trying to do this new thing 
where I don't have to have all the colors. <laughs> I'm trying. It's really hard, especially because somebody will ask me my favorite color and then I don't want to be dishonest and I haven't tried them all. So how do I know what my favorite color is? <laughs> um, it comes with the foam, just like their colored pencils. Oh, they're so pretty. And I see a few colors that I really like, but I don't see a real cobalt turquoise. So they do have the, um, oh, I did not realize they have their own fixative. I wonder if theirs smells as bad as a Sennelier one. If anyone has used a fixative that doesn't stink as bad as a Sennelier, I mean, I love Sennelier, but their fixative, it stinks. And that's what made me like not want to use any oil pastels <laughs> for so long. <laughs> I'm putting this on my wish list and then maybe my husband will get me that eventually. <laughs> um, Oh my goodness, look at that wooden box set. Is that not a dream? Maybe the occult pens or someplace will make it a really, really good sale like I got my colored pencils. These are artist grade, extra fine oil pastels. Look at these gorgeous colors. The colors are so gorgeous, so beautiful. I can't wait to try these out. They're all pretty. I ordered two individually from Jackson's first and they were lovely um, before I ordered this set. So I can't wait to try to use these and then compare them to Sennelier and some of my other brands. Thank you for enabling me, Sandy. I love being enabled. <laughs> Next, I got a few more. I went ahead and picked up a few more of the Schmincke Aqua Drops while they were on sale. Um, I'm sure they're not on sale anymore. It was months and months ago. I did pick up the Black Friday set and I didn't quite love them. I'll be honest, I didn't quite love them. But I think it might have been the colors more than the actual product. So I decided to give them another chance with some of my favorite colors. I got uh, Ruby Red, which is made from PR184. Magenta, which is PR122. I think this is the color I was really missing to make good mixes with the colors that I had before. This is purple. This is just a convenient mix, but it's PR122 and PV23. And I bet it's going to be gorgeous and I'll use it all the time. As well as olive green, which is PY83, PO43, and PG7. And I think I was looking, I think I needed a more natural green. I think all the set I had is just has a phthalo green. Hopefully that will um, make me like these. These are the surprise boxes because I don't remember what's in them. Uh, this is from Faber-Castell and it is a pit oil based. It's extra soft. Looks like this. This is not quite what I was looking for. Um, I was looking for something that will go over oil pastels and but be like a colored pencil. So if anyone knows a product like that, that's what I was hoping for. This feels like a it feels like a colored pencil. <laughs> But maybe the properties are different. So I did get a few. Turquoise blue, rose pink, violet lake, magenta. It's a Derwent day. <laughs> this is the Cobalt Turquoise, the Derwent pastel, because I wanted to try that as well to see if they... to see how they compare to some of my other pastels. I've seen a lot of people on Instagram use these. Oh, this feels actually pretty nice. This feels just as nice as my Stabilo's, maybe a bit better. So that's nice. This is Cobalt Turquoise and it's a nice color, nice turquoise green. Next, I wanted to try one of these chunky for kids. <laughs> I 
I've seen these in a few Instagram posts and they really just honestly look so cute. They are water soluble. They're made by Stabilo. And this is the turquoise color, of course. So I wanted to try one to see how they work. Ooh, they're very creamy. They go on like, they kind of remind me of the Karen Dosh uh, Neopastel twos. Very creamy. Let's see how it washes out with water. Oh, they are. They're water bait. Oh, how fun. So these are marketed for kids, but I'm sure they're not light fast, but oh, that's pretty. That could be fun. So I don't know how these compare, but these are more comfortable. I like that they're chubby. Honestly, I wish that Karen Dosh would make a chubbier version of their Neo Pastel 2s. They, they're lovely and they're a lot of fun, but to me, they're not very comfortable to use. <laughs> Is that just me? Am I alone? <laughs> so those are fun. I think those will be fun both wet or dry. So we'll see how that dries, but, but um, those are definitely fun. Next, I'm going to swatch out these Derwent watercolor pencils really quick. I decided to try a few of my favorite colors. This is what I often do and what I highly recommend you do before you get a full set of anything. It's more affordable to get the whole set, but it's not very affordable if you wind up not liking them. So I always get a few individual at first, and then if I like them, then I'll get the whole set. So first is Rose Pink. But I've liked so many of my Derwent products that I just wanted to try them. So they aren't as smooth as some of my other watercolor pencils. This is Magenta. This is Red Violet Lake. Ooh, that's like a mauve color. I like that color, and I don't think I have that color in any of my other pencils. This one as well. Next is turquoise blue. Most of my other Derwent, even the ink tents, uh, actually seem a bit higher quality, but maybe I'm wrong. Let's swatch these really fast. Yeah, they're kind of weak. So I think this would be the first product by Derwent that I don't know if I'm a fan of. Well, this one's not bad. Okay, this one's fine. This looks like a really pretty color. But they do seem like they're not... Uh, Maybe we're just spoiled by the ink tents. That's a very pretty color though. But they do seem a bit weak. So, but I will have to try them on better paper before I know for sure. But all the colors are very pretty. Oh, that one's pretty too. All right, so really pretty colors, but they're weak, but I'll have to play with them more to know for sure. Next, I went ahead and now that I'm doing watercolor markers, I just wanted to try the Winsor Newton version. I have seen other artists that really like these. Um, even though these are from Winsor Newton, um, I did notice they are made in China. So the sketch club markers that I was sent, they were made in China as well. I would have never known. They were very nice. So this is the floral. This is the floral set. And I will swatch, will swatch those out really quick. So let's try these. The, these are Pro Marker watercolors. The Pro Markers, oh, they just... They come with a really fine nib. Let's 
and then they come with a brush nib as well. It is odd to me It's weird to me that they did it backwards because the side you're going to use most of the time to paint is the big one, not the small one. So that's kind of weird to me, but they did put the notch in the lid that will keep the marker from rolling, so that's good. So it's a very pale lemon yellow. And then next we have the pale rose. That's a pretty color. It does have the pigment information. It says PB19 and PR188. So it's nice that they really include the pigment information right on the barrel. Quinochrodome magenta. Oh, that's pretty. That's nice. See how these dry out. That's a really pretty color and, and that's quite vibrant. The other two I wasn't quite impressed with, but maybe it's just the color. And uh, next is mid blue. Oops, see I'm gonna keep opening the wrong side first. <laughs> they made it backwards. <laughs> um So this is mid blue and this is hooker's green. It's made from PG7 and PY83. Oh, that's very pretty. It's very vibrant. Next is Burnt Red, which is made from PR188, PY83, and PV PV23. So the lemon yellow was very, very weak, and I was actually quite disappointed in it. Let's try it again. It's like it's, there's hardly any coming out. It's very weak compared to the rest. And the Faber-Castell version, it blows it out of the water. So, but the rest of these colors are nice, but the, the lemon yellow is a big disappointment. Also from Jackson's, they had Marimer Blue watercolors on sale, and I've had this on my wish list for the longest time. <laughs> I did try a few colors individually, and I really like them. This is an Italian brand of watercolors, so let's see what this looks like. Um, it did come with some plastic packaging over it. It didn't look the highest quality, honestly. It was kind of like loose and but I took that off. So it comes in this triangular palette. I think this called this a foam palette. It's very much like the, um, the Paul Rubens Emerald set, except for this is a smooth texture and that is a not a smooth texture. Um, but the palette is actually harder to open than the Paul Rubens. Okay, there it goes. But Paul Rubens does not have a hard time opening. But yeah, it's made the same as the Paul Rubens case. Uh, this is, this feels a little higher quality. Uh, it comes with some Arches watercolor paper for swatching, I guess. Look at all the pretty colors that come. This was on sale. I want to say it was a little over $100. I'm not sure the current price, but... Um, these are all of the pretty colors. So it was a very interesting palette itself because 
they don't have the pedal the metal clips that you push down to keep your watercolor in palette so I've never had a palette like this and um, I'm gonna have to figure it out <laughs> so this is the 36 set of Mare Blue watercolors and I've had it on the list for the longest time because it comes with so many colors that I wanted and it was much more affordable to get them in a big set than to order them all individually. This came with many of the colors that were on my wish list. It comes with a potter's pink and it comes in this unique palette. Part of the fun to me. It comes in a very pretty silver palette that's really pretty. So I can't wait to play with those colors and experiment with those colors more and Please let me know if you'd like to see a follow-up video of me uh, sharing this palette. And then lastly from Amazon, I did get this, uh, I found this Fine Tech Flip Flop Colors and these were on sale. This set comes with red gold, pink orange, turquoise red, golden green pink, green amethyst, and blue violet. So this is a special set. I haven't bought any Fine Tech for a long time. I've bought, I've purchased from Colero, but I haven't purchased from uh, Fine Tech for a long time because on Dick Blick, their prices just seem insane. And, I, and it's, I don't understand why they would be more than Colero when they don't seem any different. Um, but this is the pearlescent colors and these are flip-flop colors. So these are a bit different and it comes with some unique colors. So this, let me open this up. So this is what the tin looks like. It's in the same black tin that they used to come in. And on the back, it says made in Germany, fine tech pearl. Um, and I believe fine tech, um, one of these has come loose but they have little circles on the bottom of the pan and they just pop back in. So look at these gorgeous colors. They actually are already flip flopping on the camera <laughs> because right now this looks orange to me. This looks uh, magenta violet. This looks kind of um, pearly. Uh, but on camera it's looking green and this is looking lavender and on camera this is looking pink right now So it's doing weird. It's flip-flopping on the camera So I can't wait to see what they do in person and this looks um, lime green in the camera and It's very interesting to me. The colors are already flip-flopping on camera What I'm showing on camera <laughs> looks different than what I see with my eyes. Uh, this is looking lime green in the camera and it looks like a beautiful kind of a green, almost a sage green with a little bit of aqua. This looks bright like a phthalo green and to me it looks like a beautiful turquoise with purple undertones. And this is blue on camera and in person it is purple. It is the weirdest thing. <laughs> So uh, I can't wait to watercolor with these and see what they do. So they should have called them color shifters. <laughs> so they are flip-flop. Uh, they are flip-flop colors and I haven't even watercolored with them, but just the difference in the what I can see and what is on camera is pretty fascinating to me. I can't wait to swatch them and try them out. And hopefully I get a chance to swatch these out in another video. I thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.